not going to give up yet. If fish can live underwater, then so can I. Guys, before we start, I want to say thank you because we just reached 14k on Instagram and that means a lot to me for y'all. Thank you, thank you so much. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me right now and then come back. Link in the description. And we're about to hit 12k here on YouTube and I don't know what to say for y'all. I know it's not that big number, but for me, goddamn, I never thought we'll get this number, okay? So thank you again and now... Let's go with the tutorial. I love you so much. So here we are. Let's create a solid. Okay, that's it. Now in our FX, search for particular. How did I get Drop Color Particular plugin for free? Come on, guys. There's a lot of way to get it in the settings i'm not gonna play with this because i know a lot of people don't have that yet but let's just play with the settings down here okay uh click on a meter we're gonna change from continuous to explode okay that's it so now as you can see it's uh, explode literally explode here we're gonna increase the particulars per second to 1000 now we can see that we have more particulars and it looks pretty cool now here in velocity we're gonna increase to 400 okay that looks nice okay now we move to particular and we start customizing size as much as we want the particular we can increase the size change the feather that's on you of course you can follow me if you want here in color you can change it and you can even put on over life and you will have more than one color in the particular I'm gonna let it on white no racist here in action system we're gonna click on continuously uh, so well it will add more particulars behind the originals and here in particular per second you're gonna increase Uh, here on feather I always put on zero and here on turbulence we're up to the last one and we're gonna increase this a little bit I'm just customizing a little bit more here you can also do that you don't have to follow me step by step something that I always do is add some glow to make it look like something magic and well that's it it looks pretty cool you can still play around well now we're gonna move to the next one this one is a little bit more complicated but it's nothing from another war once we have our solid we're gonna click the mask tool and we're starting oh shit wait make sure to click your solid now mask tool and now start drawing uh i don't know how to say this word so i'm gonna let google translate say this twister Okay, as you hear, you have to draw like a twister. And well, I know it sounds easy, but it is not that easy to make for real. I took my time to make this. Once you're done with the mask, uh, we're gonna press M in our keyword to see the mask path. Now we're gonna click the clock there and we're gonna copy that frame, Ctrl C. And now we're gonna add the particular effect. Here on a meter, we're gonna click the position clock now press U in your keyboard to see the frames and now we're gonna paste the frame we just copy on mass path and now we can see that the particular follow all the draw we just made and you can even stretch that so it that lasts longer and now the next part is the same as the first one you just have to customize as much as you want do whatever you want you can follow me if you want but again feel free to explore all the particular plugin if you want yours looks like mine you can follow me if you want sorry guys i'm not gonna comment this shit again it's, it's the same and you can follow me my my steps there i hope you can follow it i'm gonna make it faster Ok, 
Okay, so that's it. It looks really, really nice and I love it. Something that you have to keep in mind is that it doesn't matter if you move the mass a little bit, uh, the particular won't move. So make sure to make it fine the first time you draw that because you won't be able to change it later. Okay, now let's go for the last effect. Okay, so here on emitter, we click on it and here where it says emitter type, we're gonna change it to box. So now we can see the way that the particulars appears, it's different. So now here where it says emitter size, we're gonna start uh, increasing that. Now we start again customize the particulars as much as you want again. Make sure to left keep it like a big one, like 10 seconds or I don't know, 9 seconds. Something that you can do is here on emitter side, we can change from linked to individual. Now it, we can increase each size as much as we want. The difference now is that uh, it is more customizable. I recommend you to change the velocity to 20. The problem that we have now is that the particulars keep appearing and it will fill the whole screen. So to fix that, we're gonna back here on our solid. We're gonna move uh, our solid before it's supposed to start. And make sure to see where's the point that you think it has enough particulars. For me, it's this. Here on particulars per second, we're gonna click the clock. And one frame after, uh, we're gonna change that to zero. So now we can see that it won't create more particulars. And that's what we wanted. Something that we can add, it's optical flares. And customize how much we want, blah blah blah, whatever. So now it looks like a universe, and that looks amazing. Now, to play around with this, is that you have to create a null and a camera. I'm sorry for those who hate the camera, but this plugin works only with a camera 3D, it doesn't work with the null 3D. So now you sign your camera to your null and now we're gonna play with the position of it and that's it. You see that it looks amazing. Something that I always do when I need more particulars is not just play more with that, it's just that I duplicate that and I start uh, positioning to another place. I don't know, I always do it like that, so you, you can follow me. And that's it, it looks pretty, pretty cool. So well guys, that's it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Uh, what other tutorial you want next? I'm gonna read all of you. And adios. Do you speak Spanish? Because I do. Whoop.